Hello, beautiful people, and welcome back to another episode of Stalker Call of Pripyat on the 2.2 Misery Mod. And uh, without any further ado, we are going to get right into this. So, those of you who may have missed last episode, first off, you should go and watch it. Not because I want your view, but because uh, it was actually a great episode. We had a lot of combat in that one, and uh, I expect to have a lot more today. Starting off literally right in the beginning of the episode. And that is because we have some poltergeists in there. So, I'm actually going to equip our SVD. And see if we can... Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, we don't want to get radiation. Oh. Is there something in there? No. Okay. So, there are poltergeists in there. There better not goddamn be any more bloodsuckers. We dealt with those last game. Or last episode, I mean. Yeah, where you at, though? There's two of them in there. Oh, there we go. One down. There's two, though. Reload. Or maybe there's more than two. I honestly have no idea. I know there's at least... There we go. Another down. There might be another. Yep, there is. Damn, three poltergeists. Incredible. No! Come at me, bro. I don't know how we didn't get a kill there. Okay, there's one. If we kind of just lead them out the store, we should be okay. But once they get out the door is when we are screwed. I, yep, I did hit a little bit of a save. I don't know what to say. Pull up, brother. Dead. But we know that there's another one. There we go. Three down. Okay. That has got to be a save. And not only has that got to be a save, but hopefully that is the rest of the poltergeist. God damn. I think it will be. I'm gonna keep this. Keep the Beretta out. The Beretta, what am I talking about? This is an SVD. Okay. I'm hearing bad things in here. I believe. Do you guys hear that? Maybe it's downstairs that I'm hearing that. Okay, so there is a there is a way a place to go in. Let's check out this room first. No need to throw ourselves into the thick of things. Into the thick of it. it kind of sounds like bloodsuckers, if I'm honest with you all. All right, it's starting to look like if we want to get up on top here. Why do I feel like I can jump up here? <laughs> I can. That's why. I don't know if we were supposed to be able to. And we've gotten another another piece of the Road to Pripyat mission. Not exactly sure what we're so, going to do with these once we find them. The but. underpass was filled with gas after it was sealed. Hmm. I see. So... I, I Look, I'm not trying to go to Pripyat just yet. Alright. We've still got some, some uh, unfinished business here. But I definitely am down to fully explore this place. And we've obviously got to go deeper into the void. But before we do that, let's go check out to see what there might be up here. Oh my god! Those boxes scare the shit out of me, I'm not gonna lie. Okay. What do we got here? Empty jar. 
whole lot of nothing. Alright. Looks like we're headed in. Into the depths. We, uh... We're getting close to the stingray, but not quite yet. I have a feeling that we're gonna have to go down in here to figure out where this thing is. Hopefully there isn't a set of tools here, because if there is, I, I doubt we're gonna find that this place is huge. Okay, and so far, nothing we're getting from right here. Oh, I see what we have to do. Okay. Let's get back up on here. Lovely. And then we want to take down this staircase. Finding the Stingray 4. Crash into the roof of this goddamn place. So, you guys told me that this is where they were making the Gauss rifle. Samar specifically. Hopefully we can find that thing. This is modeled after a real factory. It was obviously not a Gauss rifle factory. Are we gonna die? I don't think so. We might just survive. And we have done. Alright. I'm gonna use a med kit. Hopefully nothing attacks us, but we don't we don't really have the uh, we don't have the pleasure of of waiting to find out because we need to use it ASAP. And look at that, our health starts going back up. All right, let's loot up these dogs. What's our carry weight looking like right now? Okay, it's not looking great. It's not looking terrible. Up these pseudo dogs. They usually the pseudo dogs are, are usually good, good loot. All right, let's keep let's keep looking this place up and down. Oh wow, there it is. Just like that. Two pseudo dogs guarding it, and it looks like we're we're all set. Probably want to. Probably want to hit a save. Oh, there's got to be something over here of use. No? Oh, letter containing deliveries on item 66. I'm not quite sure what we can do with that, but I'm sure it's useful. We definitely want to explore a lot around this place. We really don't want to leave any stone left unturned. What's in here? Come on, where's my Gauss rifle? The Gauss rifle, if you guys don't know, is it's, it's sort of like a mega sniper, like almost like an energy sniper, if you would. Okay, you know what? Let's just examine it. We saved. It should be good. При этом система защиты от выброса цела. Что же это было? What could have caused this? Is a great question. And that's it. Stingray examined, and now we're out of here. Where's where's my Gauss rifle? That would be sick if we got one, but I really don't 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 put your hopes up, especially since we're playing on the misery mod. They never like to give you things in this in this mod, which fair enough. It's kind of what we signed up for, and I have loved every second of it. I love just surviving. Through the grit of our teeth. And it looks like we're getting out of here, but it's, it's quite dark over here. A little bit unnerving. Ooh. What does that light up there mean? Oh, wow. Okay. There's got to be some enemies in this area now. I can't imagine that there's no enemies here. I'm also 100% unsure of what we're doing right now, but we've definitely got to hit that light, right? 
looks like the way to get there is right here. Ooh, what's this? Can we pick up anything over here? Nope. I have this flashlight on. It's not really helping too much. Oh, but it, it does help a little bit. Okay, another file. Time to talk to the technician about the underpass. You got it. The entrance to the underpass we're, uh, is we're, here. We're knocking out two missions at the we same time. We activate the generator. We'll be able to open the transportation lock. Oh, really now? I guess we'll just continue following this path because it seems to be, uh... Seems to be open up... Open <laughs> oh, God, what is happening? Um... I think that was a glitch. I think we stepped on the chair and it knocked us into the ceiling and we took extreme damage, but luckily we're gonna be okay. Well, at least our food is at yellow. Can't activate anything in here, are we sure? Okay. This, that's damn ridiculous, bro. We're out of food and I don't have any extra. What was I thinking? Bro, I will never know what I was thinking. To not bring food with us. But such is life in the zone. Sometimes you just gotta, you know, starve a little bit. It will eventually start to deteriorate our health, so I'm not looking forward to this. This could start to get very, very hectic. I was hoping we might find a stash in there with some food. That's really gonna be our only hope for salvation right now. Just keep walking around here and looking for some sort of stash. We bring ourselves down here. Seems to be the end of the road, end of the line, which is a good sign. The only problem is gonna getting back is gonna be quite tough. We do have uh, we do have mutant meat that we could eat. It's not gonna be good for us, but we can do. We're gonna get a little bit of radiation off it if we do decide to do that. But is there anything in here? Come on, one of these boxes has gotta have something for us. You know? Don't hang me out to dry here. Come on, Gearbox Entertainment. I love your games. Give me some... Get, throw me a bone. Nothing. Nothing given. We do have a... There is a stash here. Where in the goddamn is it? Is this the way to put yet? This device, part of me feels like it is. Okay, if we want to find the stash, it looks like we're gonna have to go back from the way we came. I believe we have reached the end of the line here. I think we can get back through this way though. Although that will take us out. And I kind of want to go find that stash. It might have some food in it. It says that we found the road to Pripyat, so I'm assuming that we can leave this place. We, we, we don't really have the materials to stay here much longer anyway, as you guys know. Okay, so we want to find that stash. Where... Which direction do we want to go? I assume it's in this room over here. It should be straight ahead. God damn it, I have to go through this maze. I'm not going to run. I'm obviously, I'm trying to preserve our food as much as possible. This room looks like the room that the stash is in. It's probably hidden in one of those machines over there. Here's the hole that the helicopter made. Wow, really? Really tore this place apart. Okay. So the stash should be... Right in front of us. 
I bet it's under, yep. Okay, what are we getting here? I don't think we picked up any food. We picked up a, a broken AK rifle. Hmm. What is this? Oh, this is a food. Ready to eat. 400. Okay, there we go. We're saved. Literally saved by that food right there. Oh my god, that pseudo dog over there scared me. Alright, well, it looks like we're set here. It looks like we're ready to leave. And let me see. Mission log. Alright, and on those grounds, it's time for us to leave. Um, I'm hoping we can get out of here relatively unscathed. Luckily, our entire food is gone, right? So we're not hungry anymore. We should be able to get out of here relatively easily. And uh, head back to Yanov train station. So I'm going to go do that. I'm going to go back there. I'll go uh, check in with you guys, obviously, if anything interesting along the way happens. But if not, oh god. What is this? Um, what the? This might be a very expensive evacuation. Yeah, it is. Oh my God. Okay, hold up. Yep. Ah. Come on, zombies. How many of them are there are there left? Who knows? They're about to peek though. The anticipation is killing me. Alright, there's one down. Reload. How many goddamn dude? How many enemies was must we kill, you know? They're behind us, guys. Oh my god. We're getting out of here, bro. Screw those zombies. <laughs> oh. Bro, I'm getting out of here. Out, out, out. I'm also definitely hitting a save. Okay. Zombies are dealt with. I will see you guys at Yanov train station. All right, you beautiful, beautiful, beautiful people. We have made it back to Yanov train station. It was quite a journey. We didn't really run into anything, but it's just a, a, a pretty long walk. And uh, now that we're back, we can sell some stuff off. Talk to the technician about the road to Pripyat that, Pripyat that we just found. All right, let's, first off, I'm going to sell some stuff. So I'll see you guys after I do that. I'll show you guys how much we make and all that good stuff. All right, so I sold off all of our mutant parts and all of our rifle stuff for uh, 5,000 profit right there. And uh, then I, what do we want to do next? All right, let's go talk to the technician. Let's go see what he has to say. What side is he on? He's over on this side. All right. Oh, technician, AKA Nitro. He's who we're talking with. All right. What's up, my man? Found some documents that describe a way of getting to Pripyat. So let's have a look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So to summarize, there's an underground underpass designated Pripyat 1, which runs under the city of Pripyat with, with one section that ends in a lock located in the Jupiter plant's transportation section. Impressive. Judging by the notes, it has been sealed, filled with gas, and the power to it has been cut. I suppose we could try and revive the generator and open the lock. Only, only I ain't going through Jupiter without protection, and I suggest that you don't even think about going underground on your own. You'll need to have a few, a couple of buddies with you at least. You're going, you're all going to need suits with closed reps, respiratory, closed cycle respiratory modules too. Otherwise, you won't last a minute down there. Listen, Zulu lives in a tower not far from here. Try talking to him. If you guys hit it off, he'll tell you how to put a squad together. Be sure to pack ammo and your strongest shooter for that underground passage. It may get ugly, so better safe than sorry. All right. So it looks like we have to both find a suit. And go talk to Zulu. I got it. I got it, Nitro. 
Um, I also want to repair our stuff for sure. Some of it is quite expensive, but oh, guys, we're so loaded. I'm kind of, I've, I've started to get a little bit, uh, a little bit, a little bit too, you know, repairing stuff a little bit too, uh, expensive when we could probably save money in other ways. Um, okay. So RPK. All right. Now what is our goal now. Well, first off, we've got to buy some more shotgun ammo, and I think we're gonna go over and uh, go place that detector in the landslide. See what what reward blah, 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 what reward we might get from that, and uh, hopefully it's a good one. Let's see. Our boy over here usually sells the sells the ammo and stuff. We also need to buy some more food, which we realized luckily we were able to find that stash that did have some food in it. We want his ammo? Okay, buddy. Yes, he's got it. Let's get. Might as well get all of his rounds to be honest with you buy them up and so now I'm kind of in a situation I want to sell off our RPK and I want to replace it With this m4 that he has right here. It's kind of expensive But I think it's the right the right call so uh, Let me just let me just take off the scope. We don't want to sell it with the scope. I don't think um, yeah, detach the scope, detach the silencer, unload it. Okay. Let's trade. So, you still buy this for 14000 Oh, no, he buys it for less now because it doesn't have all the pieces on it. That's fine by me. So, for 11000 we'll sell that. And we'll pick this up for thirty-four. So, sell. And then buy. We end up going down to, uh... 125k, but that is not the end of the world. Um, so now we need to buy some ammo. What ammo does this take? It takes these rounds. So how much is it gonna cost me to buy them all? 6k. Yeah, I'll I'll buy them up. All right, I'll put the rest of the stuff in our uh, in our case, and uh, I'll be back with you guys. All right, so let's take a look at this rifle that we just picked up. I like the scope. It's not the greatest scope on the planet. But uh, I, I definitely like the reload animation. And what can we do? Okay, so it's a, th a triple burst or a th or just a single shot. We'll put it on uh, single fire mode right now. And we'll go head over to the scientists. I believe... Yeah, these guys are glitching out. All right, what time is it? It's pretty late. Oh, so Zulu lives right here. Um, all right, let's go speak with Zulu. And then we're going to go head over and we're going to go put this thing... We're going to go slot that into the ground. And then we should be all good. All right. What's up, my man Zulu? Let's uh, turn the sound back on. Damn, what an episode today. What an episode. It's a little bit dark, but... We should be able to make it up to this tower, no problem. It is right next to the base. And we'll speak with Zulu. I didn't even know you could get up here, to be perfectly honest with you guys. It looks like we will be able to, though. Hopefully this door opens. Yep. What's up, Zulu? Looks like we want to try and hit it off with him best, best as possible. I'm down. You know, we can be a friendly guy if we need to be. I actually forgot that we do need to get some batteries, but we can wait on that for the time being. There's nobody up here. Zulu, please don't be dead. Ah, no, he's not dead. Zulu is well and truly alive. He's, he's got some vodka for us. He also had something down in there. What's up, my man? Important business to discuss. He said, cool, let's have a drink first to make this important business as seriously as we should. Okay, let's drink, my friend. We'll take a few sips together. Maybe that will get us uh, on good terms. Hello? There we go. All right, he's taking out the vodka. We had some vodka. I mean, he had it on his table. <laughs> we kind of stole it from him and handed it to him. But he seems okay with it. I'm planning to go to Pripyat. Yeah, that's what we're doing. He said Pripyat underground. That's that's a good idea. Calls for another drink. Cheers, my friend. He's going to get us pissed drunk before we're able to figure out what we're doing here. <laughs> I like the mural behind him, though. It's quite pretty. He's got a nice little place up here, to be honest with you. As far as the zone goes. Hmm. Everyone is telling us not to tackle this mission on our own. I kind of want to do it on our own. Eh, let's get a squad together. That's a good idea. Alright, bottoms up. Another drink. 
think that sounds like a good idea. So even after we get the squad together, though, we are going to have to get ourselves a closed cycle suit. Which means that uh, I, I believe that that's the Seva suit. The suit I've been looking for almost this whole time. Let me see. We've got the military guy. An army type. Dude, we're, dude, we are drinking a lot. But I think he's just excited that we're going off the Pripyat. Making me want to drink. I am 21 now, so that is, <laughs> that is acceptable. You know, drink responsibly, children. Just kidding. Obviously, children should not be, should not be drinking. All right, Vano should also help us off. Couldn't pay off his debt to the bandits. He can carry all the supplies to Vano, and we'll, we'll, we will drink again. And then we've got to talk to him about this closed cycle suit. So I wonder what type of advice he might give us here. I like his uh, his face. He looks like a he looks real. Yeah, safety first. And about that, don't worry about me because this suit is all good. But we will need them for the others to make it. And it may take a little work. Those suits aren't exactly common around here. Here's to a successful search. Yeah, big facts. It looks like we're finally getting together a band for possibly the final mission. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what happens once we get to Pripyat. One thing, make sure is we don't get lost underground. We've got the schematics. Don't have to worry about that. Dude, we're going to finish four or five bottles at this point. Hopefully we can walk our way back to Yanov after this uh, after this party. Oh, I don't know if... Well, it looks like we're about to pass out. Possibly. Yep. <laughs> no indications or PDAs, warnings of an ongoing mission. Oh, looks like we fell asleep. We okay, just woke up. it's a deal. We'll go together. Whatever fighters you see... Send them my way and I'll make a team out of them. Once everything is ready, give me a shout. We'll pick up Nitro and head for Jupiter. All right, sounds good, Zulu. Thanks for the help. Um, the guys who stayed at Zatan won't go to Pripyat for sure. We need fellas. Ain't got nothing holding them back. Okay. All right. Well, looks like we've got a few missions now to, to get done. Um, assemble a squad. All right. Well, thank you very much, my friend. We're gonna get we're gonna get out of your hair here. What did we pick up from him? I know we picked something up down there. It, may, it might have been this pack of cigarettes. And have we got food? No, I, I still forgot to buy food. All right. We're gonna go into Yanov Station. We're gonna buy some food, and then to end off the uh, end off the episode, we might just go and head over to that uh, that anomaly anomalous. So the landslide we're gonna place that next scanner and we should be we should be set oh wow it's a beautiful new day a new day in the zone and we we want to go talk to what was his name vano the guy who who needed the debt repaid and we we kind of helped him out and also topol well seems like he sessions. might be one to help us That's will you go to put the ads with me Nah, alright. Screw you then. I don't need your help anyway. And uh, we do have to turn the sound off. Because we will get copyrighted. Alright, this guy though. Oh no, that's Pilot. Captain Deschino. Oh no, the guy over there is the one who will help us. Alright, let's go buy some food. Um, What do we need? What do we got? I'm gonna buy the beans. Is the salmon good? No. Can of tuna that looks good, and we'll buy the spread. Okay, spending six thousand, but six thousand well spent, I say, if we're buying ourselves some more equipment or some more food. And let's go speak with uh, which one of you is Vano? Flint. Um, not interested about your stories. Here, team of Pripyat, you help me, friends, so I will, so I will help you. Talk to Vano about a protective suit. We'll need a suit. Hmm. Man, that sucks. My suit is gone. You can stick your head in the oven and breathe just fine, but I pawned out Hawaiians. If I could only get it back. I'm broke, and we'll need 34000 Do we have to buy the suit for Vano? Because that's a lot of money. Hmm. I, I don't want to give him 34000 just yet, to be honest with you guys. Um, that's a lot of money to just be dishing out. Obviously, we are stacked right now. 
but that's like that's like a fourth that's like 25 percent of our, our of our bank right now and i don't really know if i want to give it up to him in fact it's probably even more than that it's almost a third so we're not going to give we're not going to give him the money just yet all right i don't know if we're going to make it all the way over to that landslide let's see how long has this episode been going on for you know we might have the time we might have the time i'm going to go over here and speak with the scientists I'm not sure if Topol is the one who we need to bring with us. We did say that there was a there was a guard over here at the uh, at the scientist hut who wasn't doing anything. So I'm I'm curious to see if we could uh, possibly recruit him right now. Let our stamina regen, because oh, man, I don't know, dude. I just I feel like giving him 33k to come with us is that ever gonna be worth it? No, it isn't. It just, it just quite seriously, quite literally, is just not going to be worth it. Good thing, though, is that we know that the respiratory suits only cost 33000 We've got more than enough money for that. And, uh, man, I'm excited to also test out our, our new rifle. Should be fun. Hopefully we find some mutants along the way. Or maybe hopefully not. I'm not exactly sure. Um, tempting, but no thanks. Man, that sucks. Hey, bro. All right, doesn't look like Topol will come with us. Maybe we can get some help about a closed cycle respiratory suit from these guys, though. And if not, maybe we'll have to complete that final mission. Um, hey, bro. Do you want to come, Solikov? Whip yet? You know, I think I will. Most of our guys have survived there, and I'm willing to go. I'll never make it on my own, but I'm willing to go to together. You'll need a closed cycle respiratory suit. Well, in that case, we need it to be rock solid. Like the ones the scientists have. Then again, talking Herman into giving me a suit isn't going to be easy. I feel, I r get the feeling he'd rather I'd walk bare ass to the end of the zone than take a precious room in the bunker. We could ask Wazerski, I guess. He's a bit nicer and might agree to issue me a suit. Okay. Howdy. Well, what's up, Wazerski? Hello. Is there any way? It's against protocol, we have account for every item of equipment. Then again, knowing Herman, he'd probably order more than we needed, I think, in that circum circumstances. Um, ooh, so we need to get something done. All right, we'll find the plan for you, you goddamn idiot. Goodbye. <laughs> and you, Herman. Can I get a scientific suit? No! We found some documents. Goddamn jerk. Does he at least sell the detector we need yet? Of course not. Why would I expect him to? Alright, well, we're making some progress. Bye. But it's not quick. Um, it's, it's gonna be a slow burn. But I think that we're gonna head over to that quarry right now. And we're gonna go put pop in this... Uh, the scanner thing for us, and there was another mission for us over at the quarry. He wants us to get a sample of a plant. We can certainly do that. I might want to get on the way back though, because it might have some radiation qualities to it. And I see you right here. I'll take a board shot, why not? I'm a little bit worried about what was doing damage to him before this because he certainly was taking damage from something. Hopefully we don't have any bandits on manning the bridge again. Looks like we're clear. So yeah, we just we'll just head straight down this straight down this road. Oh god. No, that wasn't terrible. Could have could have gone a lot worse. Snorks down. <laughs> Damn, that was stressful though. All right. Where's the other one? Look, I know I killed two of these suckers. There we go. We're about to get attacked, aren't we? I thought so. 
but I think that we're chilling. Let's just try and move, move with a little bit of a, a little bit of a sense of urgency. Getting attacked by mutants is bad news in this suit. It is really bad news. Looks like they're fighting over there in that forest. I'll let them do their thing. No need to intervene. Let our stamina regen a little bit. Why is our stamina so low? I mean, it'll it'll definitely get better once we're able to deposit this uh, this anomalous scanner. And we are getting close. And then once we finish off that, we can go up and collect that plant sample for the scientists and bring it back. And hopefully then Ozertsky will be able to help us get a suit for Skolikov. I really, really do not want to pay 33000 to get our other boy a suit. But if we have to, then we'll do it. I also have a feeling that if we were able to help the monoliths, that they would give us a... Uh, they would give us a suit too, but I just... I'm not exactly sure how we could convince the... Uh, how we could convince either duty or freedom to accept them. We might have to have a talk with them again in the in next episode. See if they've changed their minds. We have been completing a lot of missions. Especially for Nitro, we've given him a lot of information. I do believe that he is on the... Uh, on the freedom side of things and we might we might be able to we might be able to finagle the uh, monoliths into the freedom faction okay we're close i mean we're here but our stamina is really take is really having some trouble not exactly sure how i want to approach this Seems like we want to place it in the same spot as the last time. If I line it up here, we might not. It's really hard to say. I think we're going to stay out of it for as long as possible. Try and skirt around the edges and see if we can get in there that way. Definitely worried about mutants right now. Honestly, it's looking like we're gonna have to jump in there. Which I was expecting. Wow. Looking over this, uh... Oh, I really do want to use this new rifle. But I'm not gonna waste it. I will hold it out, though. Okay, yeah, so they want us to go in. And in we will go. <laughs> Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we finally have goddamn made it back. It took me so long. Let me just... Let me just let you, let you all know, it did take me a long time. And we've got to find this thing. Alright. Oh, all right. I got the I got the detector. We're waiting for the hypothesis to end. All right, this I can deal with. I assume that mutants are going to be called to us. Right? Isn't that what he said? That mutants would start getting called to Oh yeah. Oh god. Another snork. I think he'll die. Most of them will end up dying. Not all of them. Our suit is getting kind of wrecked, but I'm okay with that. As long as we can survive. Come on, 
This hypothesis has to be over soon. Hypothesis over. Take the scanner. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Oh my god. Alright. Done. Done and dusted. And you know what? We're gonna knock out two birds with one stone here. We're gonna go get that plant that he wants. I'm gonna leave all those snorts. Oh my god! A chimera? What is it doing here? Fighting a bloodsucker. Okay. How much health does that thing have? Finally! My god, this is a, a chimera, correct? Yep. Well, we took it down, guys. That is so much ammo, I am honestly a bit astonished. Astounded. Isn't that the word? Astounded, not astonished. Okay. Let's take that bloodsucker stuff, too. It looks like we have a little bit of radiation about us. I'm not quite sure what that is from. Nor do I really care. Let's just be quick. Okay. So we took out that, uh, we took out that sucker. Sadly, though, it did take a lot of our ammo to do so, so we're gonna have to be a little bit careful now. But all we've all we've got to do now is head over into that area, pick up that, uh... Oh god, how's our suit looking? Our suit isn't looking great, but we will be able to- we will be able to heal that thing up. Um, I- we're also gonna have to pick up a Seva suit for ourselves. Um, I would like to get one for free, but I don't know if we're gonna be- quite so lucky we have oh my god wait <laughs> definitely hit a save after getting attacked by a chimera those things have so much damn health bro all right let's reload too okay so where is this thing it's just relatively in the center i think we just want to run in and just pick that thing up Okay, we got the plant. Let's get out of here. Alright, there we go. Plant secured. How's our suit looking? Probably destroyed. Yeah, it, it's looking pretty pretty badly damaged right now, but I'm not too worried about it. I'm going to go and give all this stuff over to Odzertsky, and we should be hopefully regaining some sort of cash from that. Oh. Found a dead guy right here. What are you doing, buddy? Alright. I'm gonna go head over to Ozertsky and I'll go see you guys over there. Alright, here we are back at the scientist shack. And, uh, looks like the boys are still chilling over here and we are gonna be able to sell off some stuff. As well as hopefully get a suit for, uh, Solikov or whatever his name is. I don't even care at this point. Alright, buddy. Let's go to Ozertsky. We've got yes. two things for him. You have my undivided Ooh. attention. I brought you the scanner. What Hello? did you get? I don't know what the device will show, but I believe the hypothesis fully checks out. After I activated it, it took five minutes for Snorks to come in and get me. It gives us 11,000 there. Um, we also brought in the plant. Beautiful. Great. Sokolov has actually let slip that the suit was for him. Well, it doesn't matter. I'll show Herman the plant and the whole, and he agreed to hand over the suit in no time. Tell Solokov to come and collect it. All right. Perfect. We've achieved the pioneer achievement. Um, I also want to trade with this man. All right, what do we want to sell him? All of our mutant parts. Won't be needing them. And he will give us a calm 6,000 for that. Love to see it. Oh, is this the Seva suit right here? It is. For 107k, it can all be ours. I'm not really sure how I feel about that, but it is a, it is a little bit of a beast. I was hoping that we might be able to get a Seva suit. Oh! 
He's got the Velis detector. All right, we're we are gonna buy that. Beautiful. We might be able to get a save a suit for for free, you guys. Ooh, we could also. All right. Well, let's buy that. That Velis detector. So now we should have three. All right. Next episode is gonna be a good one, I think. Okay, let's go back to Howdy -ho. Solokov. We got the arrangements. Go meet at Zulos. Zulos place. All right. Um, how about you take me there? I'll show up there on my own. It could be trouble. Okay. Alright, so he's gonna go get a scientific suit. He's gonna take us over What's to Zulu. Up? Which is actually pretty nice because then we can go and, uh, we can get back to the Yanov station a lot quicker. Um, this is Solokov. Well, he ain't no scientist by the way he carries himself. A good soldier will always come in handy. Alright. Um, what are your thoughts on him? He ain't exactly a stormtrooper. He can handle guns just fine. He's always got a sour look on his face, though. If it, As if his rations ain't nothing but lemons. <laughs> okay, I'm going to leave you guys to it. I'm going to go back down. Get back into Yanov train station. And uh, finish off this episode for you guys. Also get our final Velis detector. And in the next episode, we're going to go head over back over to the scientists. And we are going to get ourselves some... Uh, we're gonna get ourselves some good stuff going on. We might have to head back all the way over to Zaton, the original location, but I think it's all gonna be worth it in the end. We're gonna be kind of, it's, it's gonna be like a, a myriad of of achievements back to back. And we'll Who is this guy? Vova. Hmm. I don't know if I've What's heard of you? him before. All right, well, gotta turn off the music sadly. And what were we doing here? All right, we wanted to get our next Velis detector. All right, so you know what? I'm going to sell off everything, and uh, I will get back to you guys in the next episode. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really enjoy making this series, and I know you guys enjoy watching it. Please, if you enjoy, support the channel. And without any further ado, I, have, I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day, morning, night, whatever time it might be where you are. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, peace.